Well, well, well. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Yes, for those who don't know, this is a pair of cycling bib shorts. And what you're seeing is the chamois of three different brands, okay? Castelli, Segoy, and these new ones I got in the mail today. What are they called here? It is Suki Sports. So these are $50 from Amazon, okay? To set the uh, stage, these are bib shorts from Castelli, and they cost, oh, well over 200 bucks, okay? These are not bib shorts, these are regular cycling shorts, and they cost about $150. So what had happened is I have a Segoy pair, Segoy brand of bib shorts, my all time favorite. And what has happened is I wore a hole in the thigh of the short. So they're no good anymore. So that, well, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and buy a cheap pair of bib shorts. So these just arrived today. I haven't worn them yet. Well, I did put them on, but I didn't ride them on a bike yet. Look at this right off the bat. A little, little bit of thread here. Not cool, but uh, we can fix that. So I haven't ridden in these yet. Uh, that's gonna come this weekend. But uh, just giving you a quick overview before I take them out on the road and We'll have a discussion while I'm cycling in them. Right off the bat, what I like about these, and it's very timely because apparently we're supposed to get a record, um, a record hot summer this year in uh, British Columbia, Lower Mainland. Have a look at that. Perforated. So, this is what the chamois looks like, and I'll get back to the perforation in a second. So it's kind of cheap looking. It's very well padded. This is a very thick chamois. And a, lot, a lot of people call it chamois, but it's actually just pronounced chamois. It's um, definitely thicker than the Segoy, and definitely thicker than these Castellis here. So, very curious to see how these feel on the seat. As you can see in the perineum area, the crotch, it's very wide end to end, but the actual padded part is not too wide, so that's good. I'd be worried if this part was really wide because that's going to get uncomfortable. That'll sit in the crease of your legs. You can see how Segoy kind of tucks theirs in. And theirs is fitted. So this actually bends down, you can see. So it's sort of fitted. So they do feel really nice on. Very curious to see how these feel because cycling clothing, apparel, these days is it's just criminal what they charge for decent cycling clothes these days and people buy it. It's just brutal. So I was curious. So I bought these from Amazon and we'll see how they work. So the leg openers, a lot of people like the grippers. Let's try and unfold this. So there's the brand. That's the only brand that's on the leg. It will probably come off after a few washes or it's got some sweat on it but um, these are the leg cuffs nice and wide and that's a rubberized fabric on the inside so this will grip your legs so the shorts will stay in place again the uh, perforated part of the short it's gonna be nice I've never owned cycling shorts that have this sort of perforation 
on the uh, thighs so I'm very curious to see how that it that'll work obviously I won't be using these in the winter but in the, the heat coming up there it is can you see that it'd be very cool so that's just a quick look at the Suki $50 bib shorts and uh, yeah let's head out on the road and uh, we'll this will dissect the feel of these as I ride the Suki bib shorts like I said a couple of minutes ago in the house actually it's a couple of days since I filmed that part the weather's finally become nice enough for me to go out and have a proper ride and test these out I can tell you right now the chamois the chamois it's pretty thick which is which is nice I like it uh, I don't know if it's so thick that it's going to affect the seat height of my bikes. It shouldn't, but uh, yeah, that's one concern. Oh, yes. First proper ride on the Obea, Aura, will be right now too. Yeah, I haven't got out on that thing yet because after I bought it, we've had two weeks roughly of crappy weather. This is the first bike ride I've done in like probably a month. Uh, here's the weather for today. high chance of rain but there's almost zero wind and it's about 12 degrees out. Should we go? Did I hear you ask where I am? By the way, part of the RCMP parade ground and I imagine it's part of the old army base parade ground. Pretty, uh, pretty nice setting out here where we live. Okay, time to ride. Okay, um, to any jackass out there, <laughs> who says uh, triathlon bikes and time trial bikes don't make a difference. Yeah, you're full of shit and you've never ridden one. Okay, got that out of the way. First real rip on the Orbea. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, average 30 kilometers an hour, which is something I haven't done in years. Uh, my return trip, I was consistently over 38 kilometers an hour. Ah, okay, so the shorts, I've got nothing to say other than they're fantastic. Um, they fit really, really comfortable. The uh, grippers on the leg, they were fantastic. Not too tight, they weren't pulling on any leg hairs. Um, yeah, for $50, uh, I would highly recommend them. Suki uh, again, I'll I think I've already put a link up or a picture. I'll put a link to the pair I bought in the description, but I'll tell you after wearing Segois and Castellis These things are fantastic for the price. They're fantastic. Even if they were $150 They're fantastic. I really appreciated having the perforated leg See this section here? It's perforated and it's nice and cooling. I like that. Um, it's a shame these guys don't make a uh, triathlon suit. Maybe they do, I'll have to look it up. But uh, yeah man, the comfort is there. And the, and the very wide but super thin strips. Oh, I really enjoy those. There's no binding, no pinching. They hold the shorts in place. I uh, just, yeah, fifty dollars. Go buy a pair. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, what else? We'll see how they hold up over time. We'll have to do a long-term review on these. Maybe in September after I do a whole bunch of mileage. Right now, a lot of people are walking dogs and themselves. Right now, I've got no complaints at all. And the chamois being oversized. It's not that bad. Um, actually, I felt very comfortable sitting on this uh, saddle. <sighs> well, I guess that's all I got to say. Well done, Suki. If uh, if you got a triathlon suit, um, I'm going to buy it. Because I think it's uh, a good value for what you guys do. Let's go.
You want to see where I'm sitting? It's a little park. There's a, in my neighborhood in Garrison, in the Sardis area, South Chilliwack, there's a lot of these little parks where we live. Because it used to be a um, huge Canadian military base back during the war. And so they've left a lot of these little heritage parks, uh, which is very nice, very nice. Okay, time to get home and cut up this video. Thanks for watching. This bike too, oh my gosh. I know it's old school triathlon bike, but holy crap, was I ever flying. It felt so good. Position's good, I gotta tweak it a little bit. The saddle needs to go back a little bit and more level. That's another video, thanks for watching. Suki bib shorts. Treat yourself to a pair, it's 50 bucks, what can go wrong, right? That's me done. Oh, here's my numbers for today.